All right. So we want to know how many times uh, string two is found in string one, ignoring case here's string two and here's string one. And it's set up default to run a bunch of tests down here. And it says ignoring case. So what we ought to do right off is say, uh, Uh, string one equals string one dot uh, two uppercase. And you could have done two lowercase also, but I'm just choosing to make them both uppercase. So string two equals string two dot two uppercase. Um, and let's see now. We're going to do a for loop. We have to make a count variable. Int count equals zero. And in fact, right now we can change this return line to return count, because that's what we want to return. And then right here, we're going to do a for loop for int i equals zero, starting at character zero, i less than string one dot length uh, minus string two dot length. Um, it may or may not be right. I think, I think we have to change one little thing there, i plus plus. So we're going to go up uh, you know, one character at a time, and then we're going to check if string one dot substring uh, i comma i plus string two dot length. If that I did a right arrow dot equals string two and count plus plus. And we return count. So let's see what happens. I think it's going to be not quite right. I think it doesn't catch something that shows up at the end. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting uh, four, we're supposed to be getting three, we're supposed to be getting one. So I'm pretty sure the problem here is a plus one. Um, and if I had a piece of paper here to show you, I would be able to do an example and work it all out. But that's that's part one. Okay, so part one is just doing that method. Part two, finish this method has x, which returns true. The given string contains at least one capital X and false otherwise. Now, I know you could use index up to do this. I want you to do it with a uh, uh, for loop, please. Um, so for int i equals zero, i less than str.length, i plus plus, we're going to go through the whole string. And all we got to do is say if the current character is an x, return true. If str.substring i comma i plus one dot equals capital X, and true. Otherwise, return false. And I think we have uh, finished it. False true. Yep. There you go. We're just taking it one character at a time and doing a dot equals with a capital X.